Good morning everyone, it's Liliana from Vanilla and Canela here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to share with you a day in my life. But before I get stuck into that, I wanted to talk to you about the reason why, well the reasons why I've been gone for a little while. I know I put up a video on Friday, a quick Poundland video, but apart from that I've been gone. And there's a few reasons for that. <clears throat> Reason number one, and I'm sorry if you can hear kids crying in the background, that's the neighbours. Let me try and close the window, hold up. Hopefully that will make a difference. So, the main reason why I've been gone is because last Monday we had to put Stan to sleep. You guys know that I have two cats, well had two cats, now I have one Ethel. Stan is the one that you don't see that often. He had a very outdoorsy spirit, he loved being out in the sun, so... But he was also a very loving cat, he had been part of our family since the year Paul and I got married, so almost 16 years, almost 15 years. Yeah, almost 15 years, I had to think about that. And um, he had a very quick, out of the blue. Illness. Um, we noticed last Monday that he was struggling to breathe. So we ended up taking, taking him to the vet. And the vet said that he had a heart arrhythmia which potentially you had all his life but he thought that there was a tumor pressing against his lungs as well and that the kindest thing to do would be to put him to sleep we were not expecting that so it really caught us by surprise and devastated our family because He's been with us for a very long time and he's gone from house to house with us and all of that so that blew our minds we <clears throat> like I said we were not expecting that and it were devastated it was unexpected and I wasn't in the mood to be making videos um, so I didn't and I said I posted something in the community tab saying that we had family and we did when it happened we had Paul's parents here as well as his brother, wife and two kids. So it was a lot. It was a lot going on. So <clears throat> this week just gone was half term as well. So Alex was home. Um, Alex knows, obviously. We told him the truth that Stan was ill and had died. We didn't go into details of why. <clears throat> Excuse me. He didn't really ask. He was upset. But we answered all his questions and he seems at peace with it. He mentioned Stanny and I think he's grieving like we are, but he's coping with it really well. Um, we hope. So yes, so that was reason number one. <clears throat> reason number two was we had family over as well and it was stressing me out having to film something to put up just because I have scheduled three videos a week and that leads me on to the next bit of it which is why am I stressing out so much about having three videos up every week about why did I put all this pressure that one has to be about cleaning the other one shopping hauls and all that kind of stuff so I've decided I'm gonna do what I want when I want it I hope you guys are okay with that basically I probably will post three videos a week most weeks, but I want the freedom to do what I want when I want. This is not a full-time job for me. I do make an income from YouTube, but it's a very part-time income. I love doing videos and I don't want having to stick to a schedule and having to create a certain type of video to stunt my creativity, if that makes sense. I want to do what I want to do when I want to do it. This is my channel. Um, I hope that makes sense to you, ladies. 
I hope you're okay with that. So I would say if you are subscribed, make sure you press the little bell. So when I do upload, you see it. Um, I will be uploading every week and it will be the same sort of stuff. This channel is about home, about my life, and I share my tips and tricks, my organisation, everything. But I just want to be a little bit freer about it, okay? I have never done something for this long. I've been doing YouTube for three years and loved it. You know, like I am very, you guys might see that in my decor. I change my mind all the time. I want new things with my YouTube channel. I have been loving it. So I, I want to keep doing it. So yeah, I think that's the updates. By the way, I forgot to say, Ethel is okay. Look. She's been very needy. A lot more so, so we've been catering to all her whims. I'm sure you'll see in my video. But with that being said, that's enough of this. Now you've been updated. I am gonna start getting this house into shape. Alex is in school today. You guys saw a little bit of that. And um, the name of the game is washing all the clothes. I don't actually have that much. I've got a load on already. And if I can dry this load quickly, I might do some towels because all the rest of this week, apart from today, it's rainy. It is England, so I need to get all the clothes dried. But for now, I'm gonna start by making the beds. Come along with me. Okay, bedroom is cleaned up. I did a little bit of dusting and then vacuumed, so it's all good. Okay, so Alex's room is done. Are you starting to see a theme? Sloths are the way to go. This is the bedding that I got from Hema. I'll link it below. The only thing is that the pillowcases are a little bit smaller than our UK ones, but it does fit squished in some pillows. So anyway, this is how it's looking. I've tidied up, dusted, and somewhat pared down his collection of Lego. And I've put this mat here. So yeah, now I'm just gonna close these curtains. There we go. And close the wardrobe. So this bedroom gets really, really hot. Um, 
yeah, I really like it. It's looking cute. I'm gonna give this bathroom a quick clean up as well. Okay, bathroom has been wiped down, toys put away. Clean the toilet and put some bleach down it. And then my room is looking okay. I still haven't bought the mirror for there, but I tell you what I did buy. I bought this little caddy, I'm loving it. So here I have all the things that I use more often. Yeah, and I just sit here and do my makeup. I will link that below for you guys. The other thing that's new in here is this little thing. Got that from Hema as well. When I got Alex's duvet, I'll link it. And the other thing I got was this candle. It says, take your time. Oh, I picked this up, Paradise Vibes somewhere. I think it was the birthday shop, I don't know. So yeah. I put the Scentsy on? Yes, I'm gonna go downstairs I have closed the windows the curtains even up here because in the morning the Sun beats really hard there and th these rooms tend to be really hot in the evening so this will help keep it cool just thought I would show you my new cushion covers these were from Hema as well these two big ones and um, yeah I've sort of decorated for summer just by changing cushions and things like that. And I got some fresh, I forget the name of these flowers, but I got them from my local shop. And have to show you these. Check it out. These are traditional Portuguese characters. Now, growing up, they made these with the traditional clothes in like plastic, but I found this company that makes them in like wooden. I found them on Instagram. I will link them below for you if you're interested. But I just fell in love. I think they look adorable and there will be, they will be heirlooms forever. The same with these. So this is how the loan lounges. I've already got a load of washing drying and I've decided to do uh, mats like bathroom mats so they're in the wash which is probably what you can hear there and I've just got to clean up the kitchen now. Okay the kitchen is clean. Yes I've even shined up my sink a bit I'm loving this mat. I bought this from Aldi. You guys are gonna see that grocery haul sort of at the end of the month, I think, because I'm gonna put all the grocery hauls for the month into one video. So if you guys like binge watching grocery hauls, that will be for you. So everything is done. I think I'm gonna have a coffee and chill out for a bit. Well, I think I need to find a little table runner to put here. I took the other one off. I think I might have something. Let's go and have a look. This is where I keep my linens in my console dresser. I don't know what you call it. Oh, okay, maybe this one. Let me see. Okay, so I've got this one, which is a shorter one. It's like linen. Um, I've had this forever. I brought this from Portugal with me. Or this one. Let's go and try it out. Okay, so there's this one. It's got green, which kind of goes with that. I'm going to try the other one now. And here's the other one. What do you think? Let me know in the comments if I should put this one or that one. Sorry, the lighting's a bit bad. But there you go. I wanted to show you how our garden is looking. Check out the chives got mint on the side. This was for my $5 Goodwill challenge last year, the summer one. And Paul planted some little plants in here. Look, it's lovely in bloom. And guys, we made a pond. Don't even get me started. Alex was obsessed, so Paul ended up giving in. 
it's under construction. It's going to have plants and things like that. So, hmm. This is how this is looking. We've bought Alex a new bike, so we're going to sell that one. And then... I love this bit. This was all here. We think this is margarine. Look how gorgeous. I did wash the mats as well, so that's all done. There we go. Our bug hotel is full of life. Here you are. This is our seating area. We are loving this. As you can see, it's in the shade. It's in the shade until about half three and then from half three till about six o'clock the sun hits it hard so we can't use it for dinner unless we have the parasol which we do which is fine okay so it's almost 12 almost and Paul will be home for lunch in a minute so I'm just gonna get lunch sorted out so I've just made some cookies I've got some in the oven and there's some more in there as well we have a friend of ours coming over for a play date with Alex you know the kids to play with Alex the mum tea time with me or coffee so I'm gonna leave that and I think I'm gonna do a quick order online because I'm missing a few things so I need to get those sorted out hopefully for tomorrow most of the cookies are done there's the last batch in the oven and I've dried all the clothes and the mats. There's only one left outside the big one and it's almost dry as well. So I'm gonna wait for the cookies to finish and then I'm gonna go upstairs and put the clothes away. I like to separate my washing per person or, you know, like there's Alex's, mine, Paul's, and then this is for the house. So I separate them like that and then I always do that in my bedroom. I'll put Paul's away in there or in his wardrobe behind me and then take all of this into Alex's room, take all of that into my dressing room and sort this out here. Okay, so all the clothes are put away. All the cookies are drying here, not drying, cooling. Uh, while I was upstairs, I put some more sun cream on, refresh. I always tend to do that in the morning and the afternoon. Um, you can see it is 20 to 3 so I've got like 20 minutes before I have to go Alex I think I'm gonna go and sit down maybe watch some YouTube videos I'll see you guys when I get back dinner is ready we've got pulled pork cauliflower cheese and mash and that's it for today you guys we're gonna have dinner outside and just enjoy some family time I'll be talking to you guys soon Bye for now.